I'm surprised to see you here. Look at this. I'm at my first and only Vortex Club party. I know. This week was so shitty that I just wanted to be around a bunch of people trying to have a good time. Even if I hate most of them. Damn, okay. Victoria doesn't seem to hassle you like she does me. Or Kate. She must know I'd punch her in the face. I probably should just for Vortex Club posterity. I'm surprised that Blackwell is having a party after Kate almost jumped off a roof. I guess people are happy that Kate is okay now and they can party again. I'm just happy she's drawing again. She seems much better and her mother is being so supportive for a change. Kate deserves that. Because it takes almost killing yourself to get support. That's the sad part. Kate deserves revenge. We have to make sure this doesn't happen to anybody else at Blackwell. I can tell you know some serious shit by your face. You don't have to tell me now, but please let me know if I can help, like you helped me. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. Great. Now I have people looking up to me like I'm some sort of Superman. Alright, so I am back to square one. I don't even know how to get through to this Vortex Club shit. Yes, you do suck. So, I decided to rewind a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can find some way to get through here. Hey, I'm gonna... What are you doing in here? Ah, <sighs> bro. Yeah, if I get sick now, I can drink more later. 69 reasons to bang Rachel? Fucking Not horrible. Weird-ass people, I swear. Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. Oh, who's in that shit? Damn. I'm not in the mood, but still, this could be an interesting shot. I know I am redoing a little bit of this. I just figured maybe I can go through every single detail somehow. Justin's just a little buzzed. The tide is turning. What the hell is this? I'd like to tear every one of these things down. Who the hell is in there? Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, Max. Good night, sweet prince. Bro, I don't even know what to Maybe do. Maybe you're not the only one who has to get sick. Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Chloe must be around. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Chloe. Holy shit. Okay, let me... Let me take a look here. Alright, I'm gonna attempt to go through this. See what happens. I'll talk to the buddy guard first. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Or not. Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Leave the glow sticks alone. Glow sticks are so cool. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? I don't give mm, a shit okay. about being a member. Oh, wow, want Max. To talk Victoria to specifically told me not to let you in. Nice try. Too bad you're not a member. Listen. No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. Courtney? Wait a minute. I Courtney. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Wait, that girl, Courtney, near the bar. That's it. Holy shit. Why didn't I think of that? Okay, okay. Let me see if I'm able to speak to her. Get her to switch places. And then I can just sneak on in. Hey, Courtney. How are you? Uh, what is Max Caulfield doing at a Vortex Club party? <laughs> it really must be the end of the world. <laughs> Get it? No. But seriously, like, what do you want? 
I didn't want to be alone tonight after this week, so I thought it'd be nice to hang out in the VIP section. Yes, it is very nice. If you're in the Vortex Club, which you're not and will never be. So, excuse me. La, 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 la. Great plan, Max. Time to find another way into the VIP section. Like, oh my god, Courtney, you're such a dick. Let's make detailed plans later, okay? I don't even know what to do at this point. Hold on, wait a minute. I just thought about something. What if, excuse me, move. I'm gonna go over here to the other side, right? Maybe I can sneak through here or something? I don't know. Can I? Hmm. I could push this out of the way and officially crash the VIP section. Yes! Do it! Come on, Max! Oh my god! Oh shit! It was at this moment he knew he messed up. Oh my god, DJ Drew was checking me out. Yes, let's walk. Yes, you. Oh fuck. All right. Um I don't know what to do. And I'm on the other side. God bless. This is nice. All right, let's go. What the hell? <laughs> Stop. Wait, 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 wait. Kate. Thank you so much for coming by, Max. You lifted my heart. Kate, I was so happy to see your smile again. You mean so much to me and to so many others. I have to go, but I also wanted to say have fun at the movies with Warren. He's so sweet. He brought me some he brought by some school books I needed. Give him a hug for me. I will. Call me as soon as you can. Nathan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. Oh, that makes me want to pull a carry on the Vortex Club. Oh my god, the fact that you know what, I'm not even surprised you know that movie. Zachary, if you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on a loop. Yes. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? Wow. She better be careful so he doesn't pull any revenge for her or something. That is so sad. My dad. Ooh. Yes. I love that Trevor doesn't care how goofy he dances in the VIP section. Bust the move. Trevor too. I'm glad Dana ended up with Trevor. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. How's the end of the world going? Great. This has been the worst fucking week of my life, so I Same. need to act like a carefree student tonight. Well, in the in the game, it's been I a worse week Dana. too. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? Yeah, he's a I creep. I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. I don't. He needs help, but not from his family. He needs his ass beat. That's what he needs. The Vortex Club is also enabling him. I know. Juliet wrote a story describing it like a cult, and I'm starting to think she was right. It's not fun anymore. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. I think Should Trevor I warn her? Very powerful. But we'll see. Here's Victoria, the queen bee. So has to win. The yeah, queen bitch. Be uh, did you hear something? I'm trying not to. Uh, the curtain. The girl. Yeah. She's wasted, and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns at Blackwell. I always Surprise, Hayden is trashed. He would dose his own drink first before anybody else's. 
What's up, Hayden? Oh, uh, look. Up in the sky, it's super max here you to save are the party. shaded as Have fuck, bro. I just vaped some dank OG buds, so I can barely see you. Or are these hotties next to me? You want a hit? No, I'm good. No. I want to find Nathan. Me too. He's supposed to be bringing some special party favors. I hope at the party you I love how she's looking at him with full party. disgust cuz that's how I feel. So, has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here or you could sit down and take a quick hit. What about Victoria? Yeah, go ask her yourself. I would, but like I said, I'm fucking ripped. Maybe you better take it easy tonight. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. Listen here, dipshit. Last party. Ooh. Listen, Hayden. Just watch out Ooh. for Nathan tonight. I think Burn. that's your job, Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. Dude, talking to him is like talking to a lemon suck dry. A bong. <sighs> Give me a break. There's nothing wrong with smoking weed, but bro. That's, I don't know. Taylor really shows her Vortex Club spirit. Oh my god. Max, seriously? What are you doing here? Taylor, have you seen Nathan yet? If I did, it's none of your business. This is a VIP area, so you should get back to the bleachers. Eat shit, Taylor. Enjoy the end of the world. Okay, like, maybe I will. Anyways, fucking losers, bro. Chips and crackers. Spare no expense, Vortex Club. So the Vortex VIPs get real alcohol at their underage bar. Again. No, Logan, you are not getting any action tonight. Or even a dance. Here's the queen bee. That sucks, Sarah. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, me, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. Oh, I will. You didn't help Kate at that party. You knew she was totally wasted. Go in, you Max. sent the video to everybody just to twist the knife. Yes, Queen. Wow. Tell her. Are you kidding me? I didn't make her drink that wine. Nobody pushed her tongue into everybody's mouth. I watched her, Max. Then shame on you. And you know Kate was dosed, no matter how much you deny it. That's why she ended up on that roof. And you made sure to take one last video of her, right? Yep. I deleted that video from my phone, Max. Oh, yeah, oh, of course. That comforts Kate's family. I don't even know how you sleep at night. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. So that and excuses you to make shitty ass behavior. If, if you're not dead yet, bro. Um. Is that what you were trying to tell Mr. Jefferson last night? Uh, you saw me talking to him? Oh, saw. yeah, I did. And heard. Mm -hmm. We were just talking about how excited he is for the Everyday Heroes contest. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean I'm going to win or anything. Mm -hmm. I hope you win fair. We'll see. And Max, I know you don't like me either, so it's not like we have to be friends or anything. Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's going to happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Okay. Victoria, enough of this high school bullshit. We're adults now. So listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. 
I know you're close to Nathan, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace. Dark. Oh my god. And I'm the drama queen? So you don't believe me. But I am not fucking around here. Sorry, but no. No way. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. You should have taken those pictures to show it to I her, bro. I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. I don't believe anything you say. You're full of shit. Oh, hi, I'm Max Caulfield, and I'm so sensitive that butterflies make me cry. Now, will you listen? No, I won't. You're just pissed because you didn't enter a photo in the contest and that Mr. Jefferson is going to pick me. A real artist would have busted ass to win, but you just want to take your little retro selfies. That is so fucking lame and lazy, Max. Just go find a community college. <gasps> Victoria, please don't do this. Especially after what happened with Kate. Can't you see I'm serious? That's your problem, Max. This is a party, and it's the end of the world, so I am going to get so wasted, even you won't bother me anymore. I'll let Nathan know if he finally shows up. Adios. Alright, bitch, I hope you get fucking killed and chopped into fucking pieces. Thank God I finally see Chloe. I can't stand this fucking shithole anymore. Let Victoria die at this okay, point. I, I really don't care. <laughs> She's not gonna believe me over her Vortex Club partner. That oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. Oh good, Chloe's here. Oh, she obviously didn't find me. That son of a bitch is not here. Where are you, Nathan? I better get Chloe. Let's go, let's leave. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the lockers. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, what the hey, hell? Mr. Jefferson. What are you doing here? Are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, yeah, but he is. That makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Ew, who the hell is, is the saying that? He's a teacher. Artist. He's like an adult, way older than you. Stop hitting on him. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. Uh-huh, uh-huh. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. Cheesy. The envelope, please. Corny. And the winner is... Cliché. Oh, my. What a shocker. No, it's Victoria not. Victoria Chase. Oh, my God! Yo, you hear the booze? That's so funny. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name. If and you could live you. afterwards. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. Shut the hell up, bro. She is the real everyday hero. Of you Blackwell. bullied her into su almost her killing herself. Go fuck yourself, you. Victoria. You Bullshit. Thank you. Whoever said that, I agree. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Yeah. Yes, I can. You fucking curious. Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now. Me too. 
Let's go check out the dormitories. That party was a dud. Oh Christ, Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Oh lord, I'm scared. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. This shit's scary. I don't know what to do. But then again, it's Nathan. Like, bro, he's a scrawny little punk. What the fuck can he do? I ain't afraid. Fuck that shit. Where's Chloe? Come on. So creepy out here. Yeah, well, as long as I'm with you, I'm not too afraid. I Shit! I will get your revenge. I swear. The fact that, but why would Nathan kill Rachel? That I don't understand. Like, why? Rachel. And I feel so bad for Chloe. I really do. Because I know Chloe had so much feelings for her. Like... Max, please hurry! Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, fuck! <gasps> You can't rewind. He drugged me. Chloe! Look out. What the fuck? <gasps> no! Wow, he killed my best friend. I am so pissed off. I am so fucking angry. Chloe. He shot her in the head. Wow, I'm so fucking angry. Jefferson? What? Wait a minute. It was Jefferson the whole time. It was Nathan. Wow, I totally forgot this plot twist. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. Whoa. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Ah. Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first... All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Oh. <gasps> Rachel, what? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I'm just sitting here watching this whole montage, reflecting you, everything. Your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. 
And Jefferson killed her right in front of me, bro. Chloe! Look out. What the fuck? I watched my best friend die right in front of my eyes. And he's the killer. Oh god, I'm in the dark room! Fucking shit, man. Oh lord, I could only imagine the positions he already put me in. The fact that he kept me alive, though. Oh my god. And then seeing Chloe die right in front of my eyes, that shit pisses me off. Like, I couldn't even rewind and save her. But the question is, how far can I rewind? That's what I'm trying to figure out. If I could rewind within minutes, can I also rewind within hours or even days? Like, I, I don't know. All I know is this shit is so depressing. Like, watching my best friend, my possible paramour die in front of me. Yo, look at that. He has me duct taped to a fucking chair. Lord have mercy. This is not good at all. Oh, man. Max, wake up. Wait a minute. Why am I telling her to wake up for? She could be still drugged up as we speak. At this point, I have to sit back and just wait for her to realize how much of a how much she's really, really in trouble. Like, she's in deep-ass trouble. Chloe? She's dead, honey. What? Chloe's dead. Where? It's in dark room. And I bet that folder has Max's name on it. Fucking psycho. Is anybody out there? Please help! No one's gonna hear you. I hope you know that. Uh. <clears throat> help! Somebody help me! God, I don't remember anything that happened. Because you were drugged. This That's must be why. the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Oh shit. That's me. He took that shot last night. Oh, Lord. These straps are hurt. Of course. Bro. If I could move it towards me. Got it. Got one. Finally, I'm free. If I could move it towards me. Come on, Max. There you go. We got this. I don't even want to look at the photo. I'm just so pissed off. Or should I? I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Come on. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Wow. Okay. That's that's me. Right. What? Oh, Max. Ew. This angle highlights your purity. See. Purity. The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing. Just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. He's about to cream. Hold that stare there. Stay still. I'm a... Yo. Fucking creep. Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! What was you gonna do? Beat the shit out of me? Please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. All the time? Now, 
For now. Ew. You were special the second I saw your first selfie. Ew. Yes. I still hate that word. Wow. Pretentious but I little love fuck. The purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Don't I move. knew. I knew there was something off about him. I just knew. He oh, has that weird ass vibe to him. Better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out. Along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Good. If that was oh, me, I would eyes. be so angry. But then again, I would be too drugged That's up to just do anything. Too bad, you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24/7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone, and you fell right into my hands. Wow! So Nathan you wasn't really a bad guy. You should focus on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised or care. Fuck you, Jefferson. Though I promise. People will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. Oh, fuck oh, no. me, bro. <laughs> Now don't move or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! Yup, I did listen, that. Do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. What? God damn, you are a fighter though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always what is it? Take the shot. I can't wait to kill this guy. Crazy. Crazy, man. I can't. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.